Yes, sir. Welcome back to the channel. Um, or welcome to the channel. If this is your first video that you've watched of mine, you've got a lot to catch up on because we've been here. We're out in Canada. Um, and today we're going to be looking at the Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, we're also going to be getting a water taxi down to Chinatown and we're going to be seeing the most narrowest street in Canada. And let me tell you, it is narrow. So stay tuned, great vibes. Let's get into it. So I've just come down this little railing behind me. And already, if you look around, you have fish and chips there. You've got Mexican seafood there. You've got pirate's pizza there. Ice cream, cocoa grill. I mean, they have everything here. Whatever, whatever you're feeling, you can just grab. I mean, already I'm looking at the ice cream because I just had food before I came out. So our ice cream is looking lovely, but it's just great vibes. Like, I mean, it's floating houses for one. And then you got all of this food as well. I mean, I'm just walking around now and see this. I mean, look at look how beautiful this is. As you can see some of these houses are absolutely beautiful um, and they're literally just floating in the water uh, they have these platforms called Mirage or Mirage I don't know how you pronounce it but you can see here I mean they're literally just floating on the water which is crazy um, and they Fisherman's Wharf first opened up in 1948 uh, which would have been ages ago and that was just after the World War II and that was to accommodate for the fishermen vessels uh, so they would have come here um, and this is where they would have collected all the fish uh, I think every literally any fisherman would come here and just drop off all the fish that they've caught um, and then they'd sell it on in markets next to here so it's got a lot of lot of history here I doubt all of these houses would have been made back then um, and the more it became a tourist attraction I think the more they made them as beautiful as this. amazing yeah but this is the cutest house I've ever seen look here kind of mine expect our home it's so cute it looks small but I guarantee it's big on the outside look here best house on the floating island So just got to show you guys this because I've never seen anything like this in any country I've been to but in Canada most places where you go to the sea they have these little signs with kids life jackets on and they just have that and you can just use it you can put it on your kid if they can't swim and I think it just gets rid of the whole like worrying when your kids next to the water and you know you got to keep an eye on them I think that's so great so we need to get that in England and I think that should be 
a global thing. It might be already, I don't know, but that's the first time I've seen it. And I think it's just great that they're putting that sort of safety in. Um, just taking away that, that stress of having kids around the water. All right, I think that's enough walking around. Let's try some of the food. I'm gonna try a couple things. Cause that's what you hear. You wanna watch me eat. You wanna see what the food's like. So first stop, I'm gonna grab a piece of pizza in Pirates Pizza Co. Just sat down at a table. You can see the little water taxi pulling up. And this is the pizza. So let's see how it tastes. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I put chili flakes and parmesan on this. So let's see how this tastes. Mmm. Really nice base. Cheese is perfectly cooked. I mean, look at this. The browning on this pizza is amazing. I'd probably give it. I mean, it's only a cheese pizza. They only have pepperoni and cheese. And I don't eat pork, so I could only get cheese. But this is a really good pizza. I'd probably give this a, an 8 out of 10. And I can taste the chili flakes as well. So, if you're into spice, definitely add the chili flakes. All right, I'm on my last mouthful for the pizza. Now let's go and try a fish taco from one of the fresh fish shops on this floating place. Let's get it. I'm now outside of the fish store and they sell fresh fish, they get caught here um, and then they also cook it and sell it as well. So I'm going to get myself a fish taco. They have a lot of fish there so I don't know which one I'm going to get. I might ask what the go-to is but it's looking like it's going to be the BC halibut which if you've seen on one of my past videos that fish was amazing, probably one of the best fish I've had. So I don't want to get the same but at the same time when in Rome, so I might have to be a BC halibut. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, and I just ordered the fish taco. I asked what one I should get, and the guy said it has to be a BC halibut. There's not really an option. So he's giving me the little vibrator thing. So I'm just waiting for it to come now. I found a lovely spot just in the corner. I come just by the boats. It's absolutely vibes around here. Um, and we'll see what this fish taco looks like when it comes, but it looks like it's gonna be the boy. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Let's get it in the sunlight. Wow. Alright, let's go see how it tastes. Can we just take in the seasoning on this fish right now? It is looking crazy. Yes, sir. Alright, let's see how it tastes. I'm going to try and approach this. They made it look so nice that I don't even want to kind of put it together. Um, I think we're just gonna have to go for it. <laughs> that is the softest, nicest fish I think I've ever had in my life. It tastes super, super fresh. I don't know what they've seasoned it on, but the seasoning's unbelievable. I think this came at nine and a half dollars. It wasn't too bad. It's like four pound fifty. But yeah, this is um, this is crazy. If you come down to Fisherman's Wharf, definitely hit up this spot because this this fish is the freshest fish I've had. So I'm gonna get into this now. Then we might get an ice cream after. What? All right, and that is the pizza destroyed. That is the fish. I can't tell I destroyed the fish. I had to take each bite very slowly because it was very small. But wow, was that probably the best fish I've ever had. Um, so I don't think this next one is going to top that fish. But I think it goes with the vibe. You have some nice food, you want a nice dessert. And I'm going to finish with something that Canada's famous for is they have ice cream and then they cover it in chocolate. And then the cho chocolate hardens. So it's like a... I, I don't even know how I'm going to describe that. I'm just going to show you guys, so I'm going to grab it now. Okay, we're about to get on the water taxi. I've got my chocolate ice cream. Uh, it was about $15 to get on the taxi, which I don't think is bad. And he's going to take me to China Down. So, China Down? China Town. So, yeah, enjoy it. It's going to be great. So, we're 
one here. I got my ice cream. This is probably the messiest ice cream I've had. I'm trying to not spill it on myself. I think it's a chocolate blocking me. But we got shout out the sailor. He's um, he's got an up. You give us a wing. Hey, he's um, he's sitting up there, so he's taking us. Look at the boy. Beautiful. You getting off of this one? I am, I'm trying to tell. Thank care. you, it was lovely meeting you. Thank you, what was your name? Jim. Jim? Thank you, Jim. You're, You're welcome. amazing. Enjoy your visit to Chinatown. Thank you. And here we are, we've just got off at Chinatown. So let's go and see what the vibes are like there. I've heard it's really nice. Um, and we also get to see the narrowest city. City? The narrowest street in Canada, which apparently you can't even put your arms out. So I'm interested to see that. Um, let's make our way to Chinatown. So that whole time that I was on the taxi, I was speaking to these two lovely men. Uh, one that just came down with his family and one that's just come from Calgary. And um, we both got off at the same stop and we were just walking with each other for like 10 minutes. Just talking about like where we've come from, what we're doing. Obviously, you see me with a camera, so they always ask like, "Why are you recording it all?" So I tell them I'm trying to make content um, and reach out to people like you that are watching me right now. And um, it's just amazing. Like this is this is exactly the reasons why I've come to travel and I want to vlog it all because there's just so much out there. And just having those ten minutes, I didn't even know him, and he gave me his time. He told me some great places to go and visit the Johnson Canyon which is like between uh, Canmore and Banff. So I'm definitely gonna try and hit that up if it's not, like if I can get there, because the thing is I don't have a car. So if I can, if I can't get public transport, I can hitchhike, which I haven't done yet. You're probably gonna see that on this channel at some point. But yeah, I just love times like that. And um, I guess if you ever are in those situations, just smile at someone because I started off with a smile and then we were there we were talking for 10 minutes. So if you see someone, just give them a smile because you never know what it could lead to. I'm just coming up to the gate of Chinatown. Um, I thought this would be a good time to say, if you're still here and you're still watching the video, I think it's only right that you turn on that notification bell. Because if you're here, that means you're already enjoying the vibes and wanted to see what I'm doing. So an easier way so that you don't miss it, is turning on that bell, so make sure you do it. Um, but furthermore, Chinatown and this is the entrance to the sacred town so this town is actually the oldest Chinatown in Canada and the second oldest Chinatown no yeah the second oldest Chinatown to in North America um, bar San Francisco being the oldest so there's a lot of culture here in fact this town was actually more populated but than Vancouver at one point so this was actually where people came and populated and then when there was a boom in Vancouver obviously well you know what the city's like now but yeah this is almost where it all originated and um as you can see we're already in the Chinese vibes so I think I'm gonna hit you with a b-roll
Okay, so we are joined once again with Natasha. She, for the first time on this channel, I'm gonna have a cameraman, or camera woman, shall I say. Oh, yeah. So we've just come outside of the Fantan Alley, and I'm gonna hand you over to my camera assistant. Perfect. Thank you. So, come with me, you can come with me. <laughs> As you can see, this is very, I mean, I can't even, I can't even put my arms out straight. So, do you know when this was built? I don't know. Probably the same time. <laughs> but this is very, very thin. I, mean, I know it'd be narrow, but like one couldn't even do the splits. Not like I can do the splits. So if I want if I could, I couldn't. Um, this was actually massive. It looks so weird, I'm like talking to the <laughs> This was actually um, a massive place for uh, gambling and drugs selling back in the day opium dens um opium oh. dens they still it's still recording okay cool. um but now they've turned it into nice little shops so they kind of got rid of the the negative side of it and made it more positive um i don't know if you can see if natasha's are showing you in here you can just see the nice little shops um yeah. it's vibes it's vibes I, i'm gonna take it back because it feels weird that i'm not holding it <laughs> okay we're back um thank you natasha but yeah, these, 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 these shops are cute. Unfortunately, as you already know, I can't buy anything. So this is like window shopping for me. I'm seeing, I'm like, oh, my mum would like that. Mum, there's a few things that you would like here. I know you're into this sort of style. I'm seeing some nice home or ornament, look, ornaments. Um, but yeah, this was Fantan Alley. So we have stopped in a dumpling shop because Natasha was hungry. You've just seen how much food I just had, so I'm not getting any more food. But we love seeing food on this channel. So we've got the pork dumplings and the crispy chicken bao. Bosh. Let's, uh, let's see what Natasha thinks of these then. They made them so fast. They look massive. Wow, that looks flavorful. Yeah? Yeah? It's like sweet chili, like a Sweet chili pork dumplings. I wish I could try them, but I can't. But Natasha says they're great, so that's all <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> all right, and I think this is gonna be the final spot for this video. Um, and I thought we'd end it with somewhere that you can only come and get this if you come to this shop, okay? Now, even I don't believe this, but I have tried finding another shop and there isn't one. So here in Chinatown, is the only matcha shop that you can come and get a matcha tea in in Canada. So without further ado, the matcha tea shop. So here we have Natasha telling us everything that even she didn't know about matcha. Um, lovely lady. Sorry, what was your name? Tiffany. Tiffany thank you. Uh, this lovely lady, Tiffany, has giving me the ins and outs of a matcha tea. So it turns out I don't think this is the only matcha tea shop, but it very will be the original matcha tea shop. So go with the original matcha tea shop. Um, she's making me a Uji Fog. If you're into your matcha tea, you can be like, yes, I love that one. I have no idea, I've never tried one. So apparently this is the go-to if I haven't had one before. I'm getting it unsweetened so I can try matcha the way it is. And in fact, here it is. Thank you so much. Try that, try that first, and I can always ask. Okay, we might as well go straight in for it if it's here. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, tastes like nothing, nothing I've ever had before. Mmm, tastes good for you. <laughs> it is good for you? Yeah, because it's very high in chlorophyll. Oh, chlorophyll, I didn't. There you go. So there's loads of health benefits to matcha, if you're interested. Um, I mean, it tastes amazing. It just tastes healthy. You know when like you have something, you go, this is good for me? This is exactly what this tastes like. So I'm gonna enjoy this now, and uh, I'll chat to you when I'm back outside. So we're back outside. I got my matcha tea. I, um, I asked for the complete original way to have it, so she said no sugar, no anything, and I don't want to say it, but it does just taste like dirt. I mean, it's super good for you. And I think I haven't 
had it at its best. Apparently sugar is a lot nicer if I have it with it. But I can't say I'm into it now. Um, I will try it again because I don't want to put a downer on it when I've only had it once. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to have a try it again. It'll do though, it's good for you. And not all good things taste nice. So yeah, um, that's going to be the end of the video. I'm just going to go home now. Uh, I think we're having a family night in with some food. So that's going to be vibes. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy Binksy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye bye. Big blessings. Yeah.